Hello friends how are you I hope you will find England vs Scotland is widely regarded as the longest running international fixture. And the matches have a history of producing remarkable moments. On the 150th anniversary of the oldest international fixture recorded, Gareth Southgate's England side will travel to Hampton Park to take on Scotland. Although regarded as a friendly, the significant bragging rights are on the line in what is certain to be a heated contest between two sides that are desperate to make their mark. Express Sport takes a look back on the five most memorable moments between the two outfits, heading into the final five minutes of the World Cup qualifier between the two sides. It looked like Alex Oxlade Chamberlain's second half goal would settle the tie. However, a late brace from then Celtic star Lee Griffiths sent Hampton Park into a frenzy with just minutes left on the clock. As the final 60 seconds of added time approached, Scotland let the pressure get the better of them and lost possession inside their own half, and it proved decisive. Raheem Sterling was able to whip a deep cross into the box for Harry Kane to guide home and earn his side a valuable point. Whilst crushing the homes of the home crowd, England's 3 0 win over the Auld Enemy, thanks to goals from Daniel Sturridge, Adam Lallana, and Gary Cahill, was overshadowed by the pre match scenes in 2016. Fans clashed in the stands at Wembley Stadium and videos were shared online of supporters being left bloodied after violent clashes, which were speculated to have started in Trafalgar Square. Perhaps the most memorable moment between the two countries came at Euro 96 when Paul Gascoigne performed his dentist's chair celebration. Following Alan Shearer's opener the midfielder put the game to bed late on with an unbelievable solo goal that saw him flick the ball over the head of a defender and smash a fierce volley past Scotland goalkeeper Andy Goram to make it 2-0. Gascoigne celebrated in equally eye-catching fashion when dropping to his back and having water squirted into his mouth from a distance. Recreating what was known within the squad as the dentist's chair, where alcohol would usually be poured into the mouth of the patient.